My mother and two younger brothers were off to one side. My father and older brother were off to the side with the men. Uh, my older sister was 17, was motioned to a, a side where young adults were going. I remained, I was 13 years old, I had a sister about 12. I remained standing there with holding her hand and he separated me from her, sent me to where the young adult went. And I was stunned by that because it seemed like I belonged with her and that she was alone. But of course, we had no idea that the women and the children and the elderly were uh, walked immediately to the gas chambers and they were dead within a half hour to 45 minutes. You know, in, in Eastern Europe, Central Europe, anti-Semitism was prevalent. We lived with it. It wasn't always overt, but uh, people separated us because we uh, prayed in a different way in a different place. Um, we had different customs, and that was enough to be isolated in some ways. And so, well, it starts with the governments in each country and don't make laws that favor one or the other. That is a tremendously important part to begin with because as soon as the population gets a hint that there are differences, then people dare to push those differences. So we, we need to have a government that stands up for freedom of, of religion for all people. So, and beyond that, I think the, the religious leaders have to preach to their flock this kind of concept too, that we can, there is, there is one Father in heaven, so we hope, and that he does not discriminate, and nevertheless we can all pray our very special way to him that he will understand, and, and that we all belong to the human race, that we should have empathy for each other and, and that we do not set out to hate and in the end kill each other for the sake of our difference. I think my faith in man ha has been shaken far more than my belief in religion or God because it really, it's quite incredible how People can, what people can do to each other in the name of being different, in the name of uh, propaganda that teaches them to do, uh, you know, to disrespect and, and humiliate others who are a little different. And so when we have meetings like this and we compare each other's past and each other's religious beliefs that, that people will learn, people will understand each other and not feel that their way is the only way and their way is the best. So I'm hoping. <laughs>